Hi everyone, I'm presenting to you Subgen, a push button idea to GDS2 SOC design. This paper is offered by myself, Habiba Gamal, Amr Gohar, and Professor Muhammad Shalik. I'll start first by introducing what's Subgen. Subgen is a system on chip design automation tool. The tool takes in adjacent descriptions of the system and its components. The first step is to generate the Verilog HDL. This Verilog HDL is fed into another open source tool called OpenLane that will be presented in WASET. OpenLane generates the final GDS2 of the system. Subgen currently supports AHB and APB. The motivation behind this tool is to facilitate SOC design, which in turn reduces the time to fabrication. In addition, we make use of the common features between different SOCs, like similar bus protocol and, uh, protocols and intellectual properties or IPs. This is the system hierarchy. As you can see, the top level is the board or equivalently the test bench. This includes the SOC chip, which is composed of the SOC core and the IO pads. The SOC core includes everything else in the system from masters to buses, soft IPs and hard IPs. SOCGen utilizes three libraries, IPs, IOs and masters. Starting with the IPs library, it includes JSON descriptions for Verilog files of different open source verified IPs. Among these IPs are UART, I2C Master, SPI Master, Timer, PWM, Watchdog, QSPI Flash Controller, and SRAM Controller. The IPs can be bus specific, meaning that its ports are specific to AHB or APB, or the IPs can be generic, in which case SOCGEN automatically generates a bus specific wrapper that allows the registers of the IP to be accessible through the bus. Here comes a distinction between hard IPs and soft IPs. Bus-specific soft IPs are placed directly on the bus, while for hard IPs, the bus signals are propagated to the SOC core level in which the hard IP is placed. As for generic soft IPs, the wrapper is directly connected to the bus and to the IP, while for hard IPs, the wrapper is placed directly on the bus and its signals are propagated to the SOC core level where the hard IP is placed. The second library utilized by SOCGEN is an IOS library, which includes JSON descriptions for IOs that are not technology specific. This being said, the Verilog code for the IOs is behavioral, only utilized for simulation and testing. The available IOs are digital input, digital output, digital input output, and analog. As for the master's library, it includes JSON descriptions for ARM Cortex-M0, ARM Cortex-M3, and an open source core called M5. Currently, SOCGEN supports only bus-specific masters. The three libraries utilized by OpenLane are easily extensible by end users. As for the supported features, SOCGEN supports having multiple masters on the same bus through having an arbiter that takes in the H bus request of the masters and generates the H grant signal according to the priority of the requesting masters. In addition, there is a multiplexer that selects between the return signals of the masters based on the master that was granted the bus for the transaction. SOCGEN also supports connecting two masters on the same bus through having a multiplexer that selects the return signals of one bus according to each address of the transaction sent by the master. The third feature is having multiple APBs on the same AHB. An AHB to APB bridge is needed to connect AHB to APB. This bridge is dealt with like a slave on the AHB, which in turn allows having multiple APBs on the same AHB. The IPs library of SOCGEN includes open source verification IPs that are placed in the test bench and are connected to the external ports of the IP to mimic the behavior of external components. Regarding testing and verification, SOCGEN generates hierarchical test benches. In other words, there is a test bench for each APB subsystem, a test bench for each AHB system, and finally a test bench for the system as a whole. In addition, SOCGEN generates a dummy master in the case of the absence of a real master. This dummy master does read and write transactions from each register in the system. SOCGEN utilizes a debug register placed on AHB that is used to signal a successful or failed test from the C test files. This is made use of in the self-checking test benches. The test bench for the whole system is configurable such that the number of ticks and the location of the hex file that will be loaded into the flash can be specified. There are several configurable options in SOCGEN. The first one is the placement level of external components that are connected to the slaves. 
For example, the bus slave SRAM controller is connected to the SRAM itself, which is considered an external component. The first placement option is SOC core, in which the slave ports are propagated to the SOC core where the component is placed. The second placement option is the test bench. In this case, the slave ports are propagated to the SOC chip in which they are connected to the I.O. pads, and the component is placed in the test bench where it is connected to the I.O. pads. Through SOCGEN, there are many more configurable options, some of which are a user can configure the width of the address line, the base address of buses and components, and the offset addresses of registers within IPs, in addition to the number of bits that are used to specify the base address of buses or the offset address of registers. To accomplish the goal of obtaining a GDS2 from the RTL, we rely on OpenLane. OpenLane is an automated RTL to GDS2 open source flow that is based on several other open source tools. The open lane hardening flow starts with RTL of the design. It then performs synthesis and technology mapping, then runs static timing analysis on the produced netlist. This is followed by floor planning, placement, CTS, and timing optimizations. Then the flow performs routing and diode insertion for antenna violations avoidance. RC extractions are done on the produced def, followed by final static timing analysis on the produced fet. Finally, the flow, the flow streams out the GDS and runs physical verification. Using that knowledge, each hard IP in our IP's library would have an optimized set of configurations that the user can change, which allow it to run through the flow without producing any violations in the final GDS. So we'd start by hardening the hard IPs produced from SOCGEN, then we'd flatten the rest of the IPs along with the produced SOC, and use the hard IPs as black box macros. The next step would be to harden the flattened netlist to obtain the SOC core. Then we might need to do some iterations in order to optimize a specific metric in mind, for example, the die area or the clock frequency. We'd then harden the pad frame and floor plan the top level chip. Then we'd reharden the flattened SOC once more with the knowledge of the top level floor plan to optimize the core pin placement with respect to the pads. This would allow for a more violation-free and neater top-level routing. Finally, we'd harden the pad frame and the core on the chip one last time and perform power routing. We will not be showing this last part in the demo and will stop at the core level because the SOC capabilities are not yet fully released in open lane. The system shown here will be used to demonstrate our tool. This system includes SRAM controller connected to the SRAM, flash controller connected to the flash, GPIO placed on AHB. On the APB, we have an I2C master, SPI master, PWM, and timer. The master used in the demo is ARM Cortex M0. Now I'll view a demo of SOCGEN running an I2C test. In order to run SOCGEN, you have to start with a JSON description of the system and the APB subsystems utilizing slaves from the IP's library and masters from the master's library. In order to run SOCGEN, you only need a single command. However, the rest of the commands shown in this script are used to build the C test and to run iVeryLock. Upon running this script, now the system is generated and the test is running. As you can see, the self-checking uh, test bench has reported that the I2C test passed. You can even view the waveforms for more details. These are the generated Verilog files that are sent to OpenLane for hardening. In order to run... So now that we have successfully output the files from SongGen, we will take the Verilog files except for the dimensions and put them inside the designs directory of OpenLane and initialize the configurations using the OpenLane. So now let's take a look at the currently generated configurations of CM0. What we see here is that it's just the basic comp configurations, which includes the design name and points to the Verilog files, specifies the clock period and the clock port. There are extra configurations the user can set, like the query utilization density and the census maximum plan out, and many more. And you can check the open link repo for more information about that. So now what we have to do is just export the VDK route. 
and then we run the Docker of OpenLane. Now that we are successfully inside the Docker container of OpenLane, all we have to do is just run the flow.tackle on the design, specify the design name, which is CM0 out, and that's it. And we leave it to run and come back later. So now that after a few hours, the run completes, and as we see here, the flow ended without fatal errors. Inside the designs directory in the run directory, we see that we have the logs, the reports, and the results, and the temporary files, in case we want to investigate any of those. And inside the reports, we find the final summary report generated that contains useful statistics, like the utilization, the die area and the number of cells, the violations, and so on, and also some useful timing information and the suggested clock frequency at which the design should run. And under magic, we see the GDS. And as we see here, this design doesn't have any hard IPs which was done in purpose to simplify the jump. And that's it, thank you. As for the future work, we aim to support more bus types as well as add early stage estimators for area power and clock frequency. Thank you for listening. Please scan the QR code to be redirected to our GitHub.